I don't know about you, but the lock picking boom seems to be over, and the price of raid consumes is only going up. What if I told you you could earn 50 gold an hour in BRD? Hey there, thanks for watching. I'm Daintree Rogue bringing you gaming hints, tips, and hacks fresh from the jungle. Today I'm going to show you how to make all your money worries disappear. No worries, mate. 50 gold, you say? In BRD? Yeah, right. What about reset times? What about opening all the lockboxes? Well, this video includes everything, fails and all. We wanted to show you a perfect run and the full gold earning potential of this route, but where's the fun in that? We did the four consecutive runs in one hour and six minutes. No edits. We put the runs up in each corner of the screen for comparison. We start out by peeking into the centre area of the detention block. There are two possible dark iron ore nodes at the start of the tunnels. Unfortunately, I didn't get lucky on any of these four runs. Heading inside, we kill one or two fire alleys. We're hoping for elemental fire, but worst case the burning pitch that they drop then as well, even if we luck out. Our first major pickpocketing loop occurs upstairs at the spectator level of the Ring of Law, or Arena, before we head towards Incendius. So, our plan is simple. One, mine easily accessible dark iron ore nodes. Two, kill fire alleys for elemental fire. And three, pickpocket in high density locations. You'll see that in run 3, rather than pickpocket, I decide to face check the second mob. I survive by bailing over the ledge, only to have two more resists soon after. This ultimately results in run 3 being the longest, as well as least lucrative, as I sit around waiting for cooldowns. So be it. So to do this, you'll need stealth, pickpocket, and ideally mining. That's it. Of course, camouflage for extra speed and stealth and prep for extra vanishes won't hurt. After the Ring of Law, we head back inside and go right along the hallway, pickpocketing as we go. Be careful around the fire guards as they have a passive AoE which will bring you out of stealth. At the end of the corridor, we jump out the window with a goal to look for easy ore nodes in the Hall of Crafting after Incendius. At this point, check your minimap for nodes. On run 1, there is a node nearby, so we take a quick look inside the Dark Iron Highway. We can see mobs around the node, so we'll come back later. Now, there are a few reasons why this guide is so reliable. 1. You don't need any consumables. 2. The route is a loop, which means no backtracking and easy instance resets. 3. There's plenty of spare time, and having mixed objectives means that cooldowns have time to reset. And best of all, it's easy. There's very low risk of dying. Fast, easy gold. Doesn't that sound awesome? If you think so too, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stick around for the gold breakdown, and some extra tips for maximising your BRD, bang for buck. There are some tricks to getting these nodes in the Hall of Crafting. They mainly involve line of sight. This particular node can be mined if you are standing on the table, but not on the floor. This node can be mined as long as the statue is in line of sight to the closest mob. After the nodes, we continue up the ramp, kill the fire elemental if it's around, steal a bit more cash, and then we jump down and head back towards the Dark Iron Highway. Now, in run 1, we can see the 5 mobs have padded to the middle, meaning we can kill the dogs behind and get the node. In run 2, simply kill the dogs and take the node on the left. From here, we head down the hallway towards Baelgar, pickpocketing on the right side as we go. I usually kill the fire elementals as long as they're in a safe spot, but watch out for pats. Checking the nodes near Balgar is our final step, so it's up to you whether you want to kill all of the fire elementals. That's the beauty of this guide, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Meanwhile, I've just had yet another pickpocket resist in run 3, so I thought, fine, let's fight. Apparently, disarm Trump's kidney shot though, so I have to vanish again. As we get to the end of our runs, we can see that our bags are getting pretty full. Luckily for us, there is a vendor here in BRD in the Grim Guzzler Tavern. His name is Plugger Spazzering. Yep. We've put together a short video on how to get to Plugger and vendor your items without leaving BRD. After all four runs, we take our finishing gold of 125 gold and subtract our starting gold, 113, which means we got 12 gold 67 from pickpocketing. Awesome. We vended our grey items for 3 gold 46, and there's about 38 gold 50 from the auction house. 
Overall, we got extremely unlucky with run 3, and we didn't get a single elemental fire across any run. Although, I do think we did reasonably well with Dark Iron Orm. If you'd like to see the full breakdown, head over to the full guide at daintryrogue.com. And one last tip, if you want more bang for your buck, it's worth smelting your Dark Iron Ore into Dark Iron Bars. To do this, you need to get to the Black Forge, which is easily accessible via a short lava jump run. So that's it! 50 gold, easy mode. Let us know how much you make in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. This is Daintree Rogue, Gone Rogue. See you next week.